Hello everyone, it is Bri Briximus Prime back for another Transformers Legacy Evolution action figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager class Autobots Twin Cast and Metal Hawk along with Freaking rewind can't stand for shiz. Transformers Legacy Evolution's got their names as in Twin Cast and Autobot Rewind and Metal Hawk. It's got some nice images there of their in their alternate modes. Right up top here, we got some nice looking images of Twin Cast and Metal Hawk right there. And on the back of the packaging, it's got some great product shots back here, along with an, an amazing product shot of Twin Cast of Twin Cast's. Evil Fusion! Aside, we got an image right there, and it says AUTHENTIC TRANSFORMER! And then finally, they do both have barcodes right here. We'll start with TwinCast. WHAT?! WHAT THE FUCK?! And then we'll go to Metalhawk. I have several questions. And that is basically it for the boxes. Ow. And now getting into the accessories with these guys, Metal Hawk comes with this new pair of little guns here. They, they're, in my opinion, these wings are a little bit obnoxious. I would have liked one of them to have folded down, but I guess with them two, just being two solid pieces, it you know reduces the amount of piece count for the budget. But also, you can uh, combine these weapons together to form a nice little double barrel gun, and that actually doesn't look too bad. It is blast effect compatible. And then he also comes with this sword. This is my preferred accessory for Metal Hawk. I really like how it looks. I like the extra little bit of mechanical detail. More on this in a second. And then for Twin Cast here, he comes with the exact same blaster that was included with what well, blaster. And then he also comes with the little Autobot Rewind here. And basically Rewind is just the exact same thing as a little Autobot Eject here, which came with Blaster, only this time he's now done in this dark, smoky, uh, gray plastic, or I guess smoky black plastic. Would have liked for him to have just been solid black plastic instead of transparent like how this guy was, but the details are the exact same, even right down to the posability. I'll go over it really quickly. Ball joint at the head, which allows the head to look left and right, looks up and down. Shoulders rotate a full 360, they can move in and out. Ball joint at the shoulder, uh, ball joint at the elbow, which allows for swiveling and a bend at the elbow. Hips can move forward, they can move back, they can move outward, and then he does get a swivel at the knee, and then a really deep bend at the knee, and they can move in and out. So pretty good articulation on this little guy right here. Now just transforming him really fast. And then we'll cover more of him in a couple minutes. If none of you know the backstory behind Twin Cast, basically Twin Cast is like it was was Blaster, but in the Headmasters cartoon, Blaster and Soundwave had a fight to the death and they basically quote unquote killed each other off but then as they were on the brink of death Soundwave got reformatted into Sound Blaster and then Blaster got reformatted into Twincast here. Now the main reason why I'm double reviewing Twincast here along with uh, Metal Hawk and not giving him his own dedicated video is because technically I already have given this figure its own dedicated video in the form of the Kingdom Blaster with a new face expression on the head. He has this like devious smile in his eyes, like one's kind of slightly bigger than the other. It kind of looks like he pulled a prank on someone or he did something devious. Why are you making that face? What did you do? Overall, again, the chest here is even the exact same as the other figure, only except the window is now a tinted red, but the yellow is the same. And all the molded and sculpted details are exactly the same, only now it's done in this bright and bright, this bright and vibrant color scheme of blue, red, white and black and overall I think it is still an amazing mold a really good figure again barely any kibble on this guy like at all and uh, honestly I don't really got much new to say about the figure it really is just blaster done up in these colors so just quickly going over the posability on this guy he's got a ball joint at the head allows him to look up and down and left to right and doing some wiggling around shoulders rotate a full 360 they can't move in and out bicep swivel 90 degrees of bend at the elbow wrists just move all over the place nice waist swivel and then this back skirt moves out of the way to accommodate for the legs kicking back it can't move forward it can't move outward he does have a thigh swivel he has a 90 degrees of bend at the knee, ankles can pivot, and he does have a toe bend due to transformation. So pretty good articulation here on Twincast, and also just one other little detail, he still does have the little molded uh, finger right here, which does allow him 
to uh, push his little button here to, to open up his, his little uh, bay door right there. And also, another fun feature is you can use this finger to also make it look like he's got a trigger finger on his blaster. No, not that blaster. And of course, this is meant to accommodate for his little gimmick here where you can slide in the cassette and you can still close it up and you can open it up and have him ejecting out rewind here. So very nice little play feature that still works out with this guy. One play feature that doesn't play out very well with this guy is his Evo Fusion. And now taking a look at Metal Hawk here. Metal Hawk here is a heavy retool of the Transformers Kingdom Voyager class Cyclonus, and I think they did a pretty bang up job for this being a really heavy retool. The head sculpt here is very full of life. I do feel like they should have given him a little bit more expression than a dead stare. But overall, I do still appreciate a lot of the mechanical detail, and hey, it's a new character that I've always wanted to get a figure of. Now, technically this guy was from the God Master Force cartoon. I got introduced to Metal Hawk through the IDW comics. He was the uh, leader of the um, you know, like the civilian Cybertronians who still wanted to live a civilian life. I think this guy does work as a pretty good figure to bridge between both the Japanese character and also the IDW character. I think it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good figure if you're a fan of both. And overall, I love the mechanical detail here on the chest. It's definitely my favorite part of the figure is just all this right here. The Autobot logo looks brilliant. I like the big red wings, the blue and the gray, and I love the retooled legs. Again, a lot of extra details that are a lot more different than Cyclonus. The only parts from this guy that he actually borrows directly from Cyclonus is the feet, the thighs, and then this shoulder bicep area is all reused. And the sword can store here on Metal Hawk's back, but the gun sadly doesn't really got much to go to. Going over Metal Hawk's posability, he has a ball joint at the head and a slight hinge at the base of the neck, just like Cyclonus, which allows him to look up, honestly, not that far. He can't really look down all that much. Head can swivel from side to side. Shoulders rotate a full 360. They can move in and out. The wings technically can shift around for more posing options if you need it. And then he does get a limited bicep swivel, 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. He does obtain wrist swivel, though it does get a little bit hard to do due to this little bit right here. But you can also move it in and out right here due to transformation. He does get a waist swivel. His hips can rotate forward, they can rotate back, they can move outward that far. He does get a thigh swivel. And then he does get double bend at the knee. It does make a little bit of a gap here, but it's not too big an issue. Now, one thing I do want to mention about these knees is they are a little loose down here, and they do tend to shift all over the place and become a little fidgety, and it does make playing around with this guy a little bit of a chore to handle him, but overall, he's still that. He's still fun. Finishing up the posability, his feet can hinge forward, they can hinge down, and then he gets some ankle pivot as well. So, very good articulation on Metal Hawk here. Just for molding comparisons, here is Twin Cast and Blaster, Metal Hawk and Kingdom Cyclonus. And then here is Metal Hawk and Twin Cast compared next to the last Transformers Legacy Evolution figure I took a look at, who also happens to be a Japanese yellow, red, and blue and white figure. Leo Prime, or Leo Convoy. Why is it that Japanese figures are always done in very similar color schemes? Now let's get into Metal Hawk and Twin Cast's transformations. And now taking a look at Twin Cast's uh, boombox mode here. Again, it's just the same thing as Blaster, just in different colors. And if you guys want to see a more full in-depth look at this particular alternate mode, you can go and check out that original Blaster review. Now let's go over his amazing Evo Fusion. Now you take the gun and you stick it right here. Well, that was totally lame. And yes, just in case if you guys were wondering, it was a little difficult to do, but Blaster can also do this Evo Fusion as well. And now here's taking a look at Metal Hawk's jet mode. Well, it looks slightly incomplete. Technically, you're supposed to take these two guns and you store them right here in these little notches back here. And that, I, in my opinion, makes the jet look a little bit more complete. I like how that looks a lot better. 
And overall, the jet does have a little cockpit right here done in red, and it's got the blue, the gray, and there's not too many painted parts on this figure, which I guess is good. It means they stayed within the budget for this figure. It looks fine without not too much paint on it. And again, this is plastic. This is blue paint, and yet they managed to blend that really well. Compliments to the designers. And again, these guns back here do complement this back. I feel like it bulks it up just enough. And these red wings right here look good as well. And in the promotional images for this jet mode, the promotional images looked kind of ass. Thankfully, in person, this jet mode looks really good, actually. Though, it doesn't really have any landing gear or anything, so just be careful of some of the paint when you're sliding this around on the ground or when you're setting it down or finding a place to display it. But overall, I don't think it's that bad of a retool for a figure, but I still feel like Cyclonus is the better figure of the two. And now for comparisons, here is Twincast compared next to Blaster. And then here is Metalhawk compared next to the all-amazing legendary Kingdom Cyclonus. And here's a Jet, a Boombox, and a Lion all compared with each other. A sentence I'd never thought I'd say, but here we are. And of course, as always, these are all in scale with one another. I, I said that the gun had no place to store in the robot mode, but the, uh, but the guns, I could have just split it in half and stored the guns right where they are in vehicle mode, but in the robot mode. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm kind of retarded. And that is basically it from my review on the Transformers Legacy Evolution, Metal Hawk, and Twin Cast. It's just because of my personal preferences, I do still prefer just regular blaster over twin cast. And, but that's no fault on the figure. I like the new head sculpt and everything's fine. Obviously the Evo Fusion gimmick is really reaching. It's dumb, but like point is I do like Metal Hawk that little bit more because he technically is new molded parts and a new character that I don't have. And I have a little more bias toward Metal Hawk because of his appearance in the comics. And so I just feel a little more attached to him. Also, I really like his sword accessory. Really good for sword poses and all kinds of flight poses. And yeah, even though the promotional images didn't really sell the jet mode all that well, and overall, I still think the jet is a pretty good, sleek-looking jet, especially when you add the guns on the back. I especially like how that looks. I just feel like maybe the cockpit should have been bulked up a teeny bit, looks a little thin, or maybe the area around the where the shoulders were in robot mode should have been slimmed down a little more so it was a little more aerodynamic with the cockpit but the boombox honestly i don't really got much new to say about it besides what i've already said in that blaster review this is one of the gimmicks of all time so yeah if i had to give ratings to these figures for the twin cast i give him a solid nine out of ten he's a really good figure i do like him it's just my personal bias toward the character of Blaster over Twin Cast. So that's why it loses that little bit for me. And then Metal Hawk, obviously I give him the 7 out of 10 because I I do like him. He's a good figure. He's a good interpretation of the character of Metal Hawk. I just feel like the robot mode suffers from tweaks in the mold because of it being a retool of Cyclonus. I feel like they kind of pushed it a little bit too far with the retooling. So I feel like there are some parts that just don't really fit together. Overall, I think Metal Hawk is not that bad. The only other complaint I have is in the vehicle mode. I feel like it could have been streamlined that little bit, just like I mentioned before. But besides that, great figures. That's basically it for this review. If you enjoyed it, give me a like on the video. Comment down below what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel for more Transformers and action figure videos. And I'll catch you guys next time.